I know I'm getting a lot of questions on the uh, property tax increase. So we voted that in last election. So we voted out the Gallagher Amendment, which kind of capped a lot of the taxes that were happening. So now we are tied to, to property value. And under Bill Ritter, we voted in that you can't reduce the mill levy. So even though now the, we're using higher value of property to generate taxes, the mill levy, the percentages go into the schools, the firemen, the policemen, that cannot be lowered. So they got a lot more money coming their way based on the taxes here. So it's gonna generate a, a lot more taxes based on the most recent assessment, which ended in July of 22. The next assessment would be interesting coming out of a projected recession will probably be lower, so we might see them come down. Um, but uh, and what's interesting too is because the property taxes went up, Colorado's gonna gather a lot more taxes. But with the Tabor Amendment in Colorado, our legislature cannot keep the excess taxes. So with Tabor, we're gonna see big refunds coming out, not only to the home buyers to put in this extra taxes, but to the renters. So it kind of shifts around some of the taxes to more of the homeowners under this scenario. Yes, it's going to impact approvals. So first time home buyers wants a new uh, higher assessment amounts come out, they're gonna have a higher amount going toward the payment on taxes, so it's gonna impact them. If you have an existing property, get ready. I mean, in some of the areas we're up 40% plus on property value, so your taxes went up by that same amount. Uh, refinance the same gig, it's going to impact you. So homeowners are definitely gonna pay the price. And uh, so we'll see how this all shakes out. I understand that there's some proposals out there capping it. So we'll have to see how this goes forward. But right now, yes, it does impact lending because the tax rates went up significantly. Any questions, let me know and uh, have a great week.